Hello, everybody, and welcome. This is Adrian. Thank you so much for joining me today. It's time for some Europa Universalis 4 Naz Castile in our Spain campaign. Okay. So, uh, it's kind of been calm. We are not doing too much at the moment. 1603. Our new world empire grows. Income is good. Manpower is good. I have been building a lot of structures... So, we should continue to do that, because I need manpower. Austria is now considered a great power. I think we're going to have to do some diplomatic development here. Let's take a look here to Leto. see there we go okay so we just we just increased um a lot of development in a lot of our very valuable provinces places that produce gold um this iron and here in madrid we produce cloth so we should be making a crap ton of money look at that wow yeah we're making a lot of money now excellent excellent Let's go and take a look here at our military ideas. I think we can go ahead and take this uh, yearly armor tradition. We went ahead and took the yearly armor tradition. We also did just get Siglo de Oro, the Golden Age in Spain. Um, yearly Prestige plus one, and then we got that yearly armor tradition. And we also did get our finisher um, of our Spanish ambition. We did get our Spanish ambition, which is Global Settler Increase plus 25%. So that's excellent. So now I'm just going to keep working on our uh, barracks structures, get some more manpower going. In uh, most of our country, we're making 30, 30 ducats a month now. Inflation is going to be rising a little bit, but I think um, we've dealt with it pretty handily. It was it was kind of high a little while ago. I'm going to go ahead and finish approving relations with all of our vassals and subjects and such. Here we go. We just got global trade. Take a look here. Institutions. Global trade sprung up in... Are you serious? In Valencia? Wow. Okay. That's curious. Uh, Alright, so we're going to be getting global trade here pretty pretty soon. So that's cool. Ooh. The skills of the Queen Consort. Joanna is a blessing. We get either... For 20 years. Holy shit. Administrative technology cost or military technology cost? Well, we are behind in uh, admin, so I'm going to go ahead and assume that we should take that. Uh, yes, because we're also going to be getting some administrative efficiency here pretty soon, so that's kind of nice. We have a general that died. That's a shame. Okay. <clears> hmm. <throat> Well, that's cool. Uh, thank you, our Queen Consort, Joanna. You're very nice. So we're getting, um, yeah, we're, we're going to be doing really good on technology here for a while. Uh, you know, I think I will probably launch. Let's go ahead and come back from all of our subjects. Holy shit, look how long it takes these envoys to get back, like a month or two. Wow. Let's go ahead and test out how's the declaration on the Uranganese. Most likely not going to be good because... Our allies are kind of war-torn and such right now. Austria, yeah, Austria's been a little busy. Hungary's been a little busy. Austria has a personal union over Genoa. They have a crap ton of allies. So let's go ahead and launch a war in North Africa here real quick. I do want to invade um, Morocco, and I want to take some territory from Lemson. So let's go ahead and put most of our troops in, I think, Tangiers. Keep some troops in the Strait of Gibraltar. And we'll go ahead and keep some troops in Lemson because we're going to go ahead and attack Weyron. Weyron does have a fort, so we'll have to siege it down. Uh, let's see here. It's going to be a battle here. So Tunis declared war on the Mamluks. So I think an invasion... We're going to attack... 
Let's see. So we're going to be pulling into Nyssa, I think, either way. Wow, look at this. At full maintenance, we're making 24 ducats a month. 15 prestige here because our leader is righteous. Or some money. Um. Damn, they're all good options. I mean, obviously, spend it generously is one thing. Donate to the poor is another. 15 prestige is not bad. We don't really need the prestige, though, but then again, would I rather have 15 prestige or just 145 ducats? I think we're going to take the money because... I have been wanting to build structures and stuff for a while. I need to get my, my fleet up to par with the enemy. So we're going to go ahead and get 20 galleys, 20 lights, and 4 transports here pretty soon. We'll have to do that here in just a bit. <clears throat> Moral marriage with uh, Hungary. Let's get another general. One... 1-3. We're going to go ahead and put this siege leader guy in Weyron. We're going to put this other leader over here. And I guess I'm going to declare on Lemsen. I was actually thinking about declaring war on Morocco and then just calling in Lemsen as a co-belligerent. That might be a little more appropriate because I'm taking a lot more territory from this guy than I am from this guy. So... I guess it doesn't really matter too much, though. No, we'll go ahead and make the war goal for Lemson, I suppose. We run. We can call him Portugal if we want to. I think we will. Sure. We'll go in Cold Blue Drink, Morocco. <clears throat> and we're going to wait for this guy, see where he goes. Either that or I might just... I mean, I could probably attack him. Combat with isn't affected by terrain anymore. We do get a minus two. And he's got a 2402, so actually, that's probably not, not the best idea, actually. Maybe we'll just hold off for a little bit. Let's go to the Gulf of Armeria. Let's go and split the stacks here. We're going to march into Marrakesh and Seuss, hopefully, in a little bit. I will attack this guy if I have to, but he's got a he's got a pretty good general. He's got a very good defensive position, so we'd just be taking uh, unnecessary losses. We can go ahead and start training up our new fleet. This will take a few years, and I still don't have enough money actually. That's interesting. Depending on where you build it, it'll take take a long time or like a shorter time. Curious. Okay. I don't really care how long it takes because it's not a priority or anything. I just want to have a fleet. You know, if it takes forever, it takes forever. I mean, it's not too big of a deal to me. Hmm. Let's see. He's going to Figuig. We're going to attach the Artie. We'll give the Artie to the Siege of Kazdir. And we'll keep some troops around. Holy shit, dude. Morocco's got like 41,000 men. Wow. it's impressive. I didn't actually know they have that many. Well, I guess we'll hold off then for a second. Uh, well, actually, let's go ahead and just bring the inventory. We won't worry about the, uh, the cav. Uh, this guy here in Tangiers, he's got invent or he's got artillery in the front row, so it means we're gonna go, we're gonna wanna attack that. That'll probably be, like, an instant stack wipe of some kind. He's gonna go for Garb, we're gonna get a river crossing, he's gonna go and relieve this siege. Uh, let's see if we get that 14%. No, he's not going to be able to relieve it. We have a uh, 5.8 morale, 105% discipline. He's got 110% discipline from his strict. He's strict and uh, he's got a spirit decor. He's actually got better military tactics because he has that discipline. We're still going to destroy his morale. 
Let's go and try and siege down Fez. The Tunisians are here. They're just not doing much. Nine regiments are required for this siege. We're going to go ahead and pull off at nine. And we're going to wait for the artillery. They're going to pull up here in just a minute. But I want to siege down Kazdir. We need to replenish this force. Come on, baby. Give me what I'm looking for. The Commonwealth has internal conflicts, which is good. Hopefully they'll be destabilized. Get some separatism going. Something crazy. We've got some Limseni troops moving on in here. We're going to go ahead and engage them. Uh, General just died. I'm not sure where, where, where exactly. Where was it? I don't know. Nice. <laughs> um, actually, I don't really care about sieging down the Guig. I just need the forts. I just want the forts. Let's siege down all of Morocco after we get uh, their capital. We're going to siege down all of Morocco. Then we'll move on. Uh, maybe for Tunis, I don't know, we can like annul some treaties or something, something like that. Um, let's see, I kind of do want to gauge this 27 stack here, but we won't win. So I guess I'll just have to hold off for a minute. The Moroccans are... Um, Let's see, they're moving, mobilizing for, for an attack. They're in Figuig right now. They have troops moving to Kazdir. Looks like we're going to engage them in Kazdir. We have a 1-1-3. One, one, he got a minus one. He's got artillery in the front row, so they're going to be destroyed. My morale is excellent, so his troops just break like hell. Uh, wow, we lost like 9,000, he lost 9,000. Wow, that was surprising. Okay. Uh, let's make our way for Marrakesh, I think, because we're going to be finishing up the siege here in just a minute. Well, actually, I do need to replenish for a second, so let's go ahead and just reinforce real quick. We have 47,000 manpower because we've been upgrading our barracks structures. Wow. King Felipe II is an expansionist. Global settler increase plus 15. Holy crap. We're going to lose some money. That sucks. Let's keep progressing up the uh, the coast. We do have some, some colonists available. Holy shit. 35,000 Tunisians. Whoa. That's a lot of men. Uh, actually, I think I'm going to gauge this guy in Kazdir. Can we catch him? No, we're not going to catch him. Mm. Let's finish up this, and then we'll go ahead and engage the Tunisians or something. Oh, come on, guys. Take this fucking fort. I don't know if I can engage that, actually. That's a lot of troops. I might actually have to go for Dara. Wow, 71% on that damn fort. I'm going to go for Dara. I think I can stack wipe. My damn cat, he's messing with my with my computer. Let's see. Let's try and take this fort. I actually don't really care if he takes away Ron back. I just want to guarantee that whatever battle we get in, we win. But the whole army, I've got 51,000 men right here ready to engage. Damn! He took that really fast. Let's go and engage the Tunisians here. Uh, combat width is good. We've got... Yeah, we, we outflank him pretty pretty much everywhere. He's going to bring in the reinforcements, but... 
they're already taking super heavy losses here. Uh, he got a 10 to a 5. Holy shit. That's a 12 to a 9? Oh my god. We just got fucking decimated. Look at this. He lost 14,000. I lost like like 20, 25, 30,000. Oh no. Is that a stack wipe, dude? Holy bejesus, we need to withdraw from this battle. Let's go ahead and get back to uh, friendly terrain. Holy shit. Dude, he just destroyed our army. Wow. We are 32,000 men in the hole. How did that happen? I think it's because of his discipline. Honestly, I mean, we were outnumbered as well. I will, I will be fair. I got to give credit where credit's due. Morocco has low enthusiasm. Let's see. I want this. Will you give me all this? I don't think I occupy enough forts for that. Instead of renouncing your claims, will you no treaties? No. All right. Well, actually, yeah, I'll go ahead and have him give me some money. We'll take. He'll give me this. Renounce some claims. Also give me war reps. That's fine. That works out fine. And then Tunis. Tunis is less likely to want to stay in here. I only want Weyron. Uh, But I don't occupy it, so he, he probably won't give it to me. Okay, well, let's go ahead and move in here for Malia. <coughs> we have the army. The army is ready to engage again if the Tunisians are willing to do it. We will beat the Tunisians one-on-one -on -one any day. So he's actually, he looks like he's mobilizing for Kazdir. I prefer to retain control of that. Uh, maybe we'll sit on Weyron for a minute. Take that war goal. Yeah, we get destroyed in that battle. That was crazy. Twenty eight percent on that fort. Yeah, we should be taking that any minute now. We've been at war for quite a while. Oh, come on, Tunis. Don't make me fight you. I don't want to fight you, buddy. Um, let's see. Yeah, Tunis doesn't want to stay in. I could just white piece him. Uh, I have enough war score for a concession. Sure. And then what's up with Lumsden? Yeah, so what do you want to do? Go ahead and null treaties with everybody. Why don't you give your core back? Uh, this costs me nine Diplo. Um, yeah, why don't you go ahead and... So he owns all this. I only want the coast. We'll go ahead and turn this into a core. Because <clears throat> we're, we're caught up again on, on admin, I think. Yep, looks like it. We need some more admin. Let's go ahead and lower our army maintenance for a little while. We have a lot of money, so I can just build barracks everywhere, get some manpower back. Uh, maybe some regimental camps, too. Would not be a bad idea. No, Messina. No, no. <clears throat> we're going to be taking Military Tech 17 here. Pretty important tech, actually. It's uh, in Cavalry Shock and some Supply Limit. Attacking Aragon while we're ahead would be really cool. Austria is definitely not willing to join this conflict. Uh, we just lost most of our claims against Aragon, so that sucks. The Ottomans are at war with the Commonwealth, and they are winning decisively. An alliance with Burgundy would be really cool.
Wow, the Commonwealth is being destroyed. Russia is basically... They're going to be pushing up into the Commonwealth here pretty soon as well. Okay, so we have some colonists. Let's go ahead and keep working here on the New World. Let's push into Nantucket and Delaware. We're, we want to get to Canada, basically, because it looks like the French are going to push into Canada. Uh, the English own Colombia. I might be able to take Colombia from them if I have some heavies. Sometime in the future. Uh, we do have some war exhaustion here. Let's actually go ahead and cancel this core. Um, let's actually wait. I think we might wait for this. This. Because this 5.7% from that war exhaustion, we really want to try and save those points. So let's go ahead and hang out here for a minute. <clears throat> we have almost 2,000 ducats. We do need to embrace this institution here. It's taken a little while. The penalty is not crazy. It's only about 5% or so. Um, but I do need, I do need the, the money. But I think I need the barracks as, as well. Anything above like 375 is pretty good. Go and take this uh, these techs here. Excellent. We got some merchant mins and stuff, so we can upgrade some some ships here in a little, little bit. We'll have to do that. <clears throat> this cover combat ability would be nice. This uh, shipbuilding time would also be nice. Global trade power is going to really help out. State maintenance is going to be awesome. One base tax, don't mind if I do. Crusade against Iran. Early in the 16th century, Cardinal Francisco Jimenez de Cisneros Nettle set his eyes on the North African coast. We get 10 prestige and 40 ducats. Cool. Yeah, who else are you not friendly with? <sighs> Hungary. It's actually friendly with Austria. Ally with France. Hates Burgundy. Hmm. Hmm. We make a crap ton of money. Two stability is nice. We have a 333 heir. Our king is really young, actually, only 43 years old. And he's a 053, which is decent. I mean, Felipe is a little better, he's a little more balanced. Going core Iran now. <clears throat> I do still want to release Catalonia and use him to conquer stuff against Aragon. <clears throat> uh, I believe the Aranganese, yeah, they're in Italy right now. We're going to lose the 25 prestige. I'm going to try and hang on to the stability as much as I can. Especially when you're two stability. There's a lot of events that really try and knock you down. It's very annoying. He took quantity and offensive. Okay. And then his ideas themselves. He's got... Merc maintenance. Morale of armies plus 10%. Protect the little folk. Ooh. So really, our troops are actually on par. He's not... He's not like superior, I would say. But he's definitely not really behind. He's got troops, for sure. Let's go make sure our armies are all reinforced, ready to go, just in case there's some sort of surprise declaration. Let's go and upgrade these fleets. 
Um, let's make sure production is also favorable. That 0 0.8 is not bad. You think down here? I don't think so. Rush of colonists? Uh, let's see, settler chance, global settler increase, plus 25. Holy crap, I get this for five years. There's some monetary benefits, or we can make the most of it. Uh, settler chance and global settler increase for 10 years. Damn, because our, our rulers and expansion is nice, man. That's kick ass. We must grow so quickly. Holy crap. Fighting in another war, Portugal and Hungary. So France and Aragon versus me. He's got a 261 on the throne. It's not bad. Rock and Separatists. And Ducala. How many? 10,000? Okay. And when is my fleet going to be into production? Oh yeah, we're almost done here. We're going to be basically done. 20 ducats a month at full maintenance. We even have some missionaries, so once they go away, we'll be doing much better. We're still excommunicated, which sucks. Um, yeah, so Austria is busy. Austria's at war with East Frisia, Saxony, and Galway. The Dutch conquest of Ostfriesland. Are the Netherlands part of the Holy Roman Empire? They are. Wow, they're Republic, they're Protestant. We destroyed that. Uh, I don't know where the Oranganese are. They're busy somewhere. I don't know where, where are they? Let's take a look. 51,000 men, 49,000 manpower. 68 force limit. Mostly artillery and infantry. They're somewhere on the map. I don't know where. Uh, my navy could probably beat theirs. I have a living crap ton of light ships. Let's see. I've got 27 units of light ships. 23 galleys. 15 transports. Still protecting trade in Zavia. I want some heavies. Some one of these years. We've got some upgraded forts. I really probably should put a fort in Granada again. <laughs> that was actually very smart. Giving a fort there. Yeah, hey, we're making some really good cash. 24 ducats a month at full maintenance. Not bad at all. State maintenance. Definitely needs more ships. We have friendly troops all over the continent over here in the New World. We got some new colonies. Colonies are they're literally colonies are finishing in like just a few years. Like like four or five years. We get colonies. It's awesome. We want to be up here. We want to deny the French as much as we can. Let's see. We still need to embrace this damn global trade. This gives us merchants plus one. That'll be really nice. Let's see. Go Ray joins the Republic. Since I do have, ooh, let's see, money, trade efficiency. I think I'll take the money straight up. I think maybe it's because I do have maybe a little bit of extra dip low. Let's do some development here real quick in Cadiz. 
Nice. We can embrace the institution. Let's go for 1,200 ducats. Sounds good. Let's go and convert some stuff. Still wondering where the Oranganese army is. I'm assuming they're in Italy. Hmm. Let's go and do some reconnaissance here in the Gulf of Leon. Um, if Austria gets out of debt, actually, you know what I could do? I could actually pay their debt. <clears throat> 12,000 men in Roussillon. So Austria is out of debt, and if I called them to war, they would be willing to join this conflict. We would have Hungary, Portugal, and Austria on my side versus the enemy. So let's go ahead and prepare for that. That sounds that sounds pretty good. That's a pretty good balance of balance of odds right there. Um, I mean, if I had Burgundy too, that'd be even better. I could actually probably ally Burgundy, and we could all get into a war together. Sixty thousand for Austria. They're out of manpower though. Burgundy has thirty-five thousand, no manpower, sixty-four force limit. That's what I'll do probably. Yeah. We'll just call up, call upon the whole empire and just, we'll call upon Burgundy, Austria, Hungary, Portugal, and then me to face against Aragon and France and the Dutch. The Dutch will join, but the Dutch, honestly, up here, don't look like they're going to be too much of a problem. So, all right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and take a quick break here. We'll declare war on Aragon and start to form Spain sometime here in the future. Thank you so much for watching, as always. Uh, please make sure to like, subscribe, and comment, and I'll see you guys very, very soon. Thanks so much.